Well, all Ranger Kooky, and today I'm going to show you the. It's weird, I can't talk and do stuff. Uh, sorry, to bitch. Okay, all right. Whatever. Oh, bless me. Well, I'm going to show you the Hobo Paradise Camp. And what I did and how or what I did so far to this home, uh, my, my homeless, uh, damn it, <laughs> hobo paradise. You know, a while back on, I think on my Facebook page I put uh, about this camp here. I found it and it was all dis disarray. And I took a lot of stuff from this area, a lot. And believe it or not, I'm bringing most of it back. Because I got all that stuff in my house doing nothing. So I'm bringing most of the uh, stuff I got out here back. There you go, get up there. Okay. So let's show you what I did. Alright, this is not, this is a backup camp. This is for whoever wants to come out here and I just use this as a uh, you know backup camp or somebody can come visit me like Thumper if he ever comes out here I doubt it but never know and I want to show you the homeless the uh, hobo paradise I know it took me five hours to build this thing five hours I'll show you what, what I did. All right. And I'll give you some tips about being a hobo or homeless. All right. First, I did the bottom frame. Come on. Let's come down here with me. Come crawl underneath here with me. All right. It's upside down, but you get the point. There you go. Now, I found some good trees. They're all good close to one another. And I start tying to these, uh, I tied all this to those trees, and I made this. Then, uh, that, that guy over there, I showed you this camp, he had this box spring. So I put this box spring there. All right, then, he had also a tent. So I took his tent and gave it a, a new home. This is going to be the, the hobo paradise. So if you're watching my video and I got your tent and you want it back, come get it. Or I'll, I'll pay it for it or whatever. Alright, so after I built the frame, which is right here, I built the uh, top frame. And it, that's not even tied down. That's just a bunch of sticks going across. After I did that, I put um, the tarp on top. Then I brought the box spring, it's right here. Then I went to behind uh, stores and got this foamy stuff. This wraps uh, furniture and that's free. Remember, my rules are for this hobo adventure is not to spend no money unless it's from the rope and ties. And uh, I use these uh, Zip ties. Zip ties and rope is the only money I'm going to spend for this project besides gas to go get this. And I'll explain a little bit about that later. But right now, after I put my sticks up, I put the tarp up. Then I put the box spring up. Then I put the tent. I put the, the uh, tent tarp thing because I'm not, I'm going to, remember, water is diamine. Then I put this piece on top. Now it rained and storm uh, two days ago and I did my water test. And I got water inside because this got blown open somehow. I forgot to tie this down. This got blown open. This is my door to me in the house. And this was all blown up and water got right here in the little area. 
So I'll put two tarps on top because I know this blue one's crap. This is a piece of crap. So I do have this other tarp. I have a Kamish date it. Then the, the uh, front door. I'm not going to get in that door. I'm going to get in the side door. There's three doors to this tent. And uh, I just have it where it's this way. I can open it up, get some fresh air into the tent. Uh, the other door is on the other side over here. Now, let's take a look. Right here. So I can open this door to get fresh air in this side. I just have to untie this one little untie. This is supposed to be a loop knot or whatever. You just pull in. So you can open this door open so fresh air can get in. But you always want to hunker down at your hobo camp if you're leaving for any reason. Just go into the store. Just hunker down. Hunker down. All right. Let's take a look inside of my home. And I explained about that stuff over there. And what I did. Yeah, I'm sorry for the shakiness. I'm in the middle of the woods. I'm not carrying a big tripod out here. So you got to bear with me. Oh, well, you just have to bear with me. Oh, your camera's shaking, Ranger Kooky. Yeah, it's okay. Now, uh, I got two. Like I said, I got like two of those. Uh, I, I had three, but the third one, it's smelly. It's, it, got, it had crawfish guts all in the, uh, in the uh, dumpster. See, there's a little water right there. You gotta get that water up. Water is that eminent in, in this situation. Any water. I mean, all his stuff got ruined. The guy who had this tent, all his shit was gone. You couldn't save not one thing. He had electronics. Well, uh, a, little, a box. I don't know what it was. A battery operated. So... I got in the other day, and it was hard as a rock. I couldn't even sleep. So that's one door. I got a window. I got that door. That's a big door. And I got the, this door here. And to get in, I'll get that milk crate. I'm going to bring more milk crates to, to use. Um, this will let you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to build onto this. This right here is supposed to be my pot holder. But I might move it because I'm going to build out more with tarps. Just to have a little, sh um, I got to have a porch on my camp. So I'm going to build a porch out. I might take the sticks and go out further and just let them go out. Go that way, let them hang out. And this would be the, the uh, I might go here to here, there. And there to there. I might go inward. I might go across. So uh, it protects my door. So I might go here to that door and try to put some tarps. It's going to be kind of hard to put tarps in between. We have water running, water running down. And over here, is, I was going to make a fire pit, but I'm on, I was trying to make rules for myself. No open fires. So this would be another area for a visitor or something. Or over here or over there. All right. That took me a total of five hours going and getting the supplies, building it, putting all the sticks on top, the tarps, the tent, the tarp, the tarp underneath that, and this little power sheet thing here. I said I was going to put my cup here. I got this out the trash. Now, go behind. Uh, uh, God darn it. Goodwill and you find these blankets and quilts and stuff like that Just bring it to the washer wash it twice if you think there's some type of disease or uh, Bugs just wash it twice or get some blankets from people You can buy I bought this women not no, I got this from the dumpster also you find a lot of stuff in the dumpster when you're homeless when you're homeless you go you go look for stuff um, that's that styrofoam stuff is underneath there. It's new. It smells like crawfish. We don't want crawfish because you will bring rodents. And a couple of rules: being homeless, do not bring food. Do not put food in your house. That draws rats and rodents. If you look over there, 
let me show you real quick what happened over here. This fella had a good idea, but rats and rodents love to hide underneath stuff. So what this guy did, he took those pallets, he laid them down, then he put a tent on top of it, then he had food particles in it, and the rats ate into his tent to get to his food. Because you're not supposed to have food in your tent, because this will happen, or food around your camp, because the vermins and other creatures will come to your tent camp. If you're in black bear country and you bring food in, well, you're dead. You're, you, you're dumb. So, don't put food in your home. Period. Don't do it. You won't have this problem. Alright, now, go behind Goodwill's Goodwill stores and you'll find like blankets. Uh, last night I found this uh, this uh, oyster sack blanket thing, whatever you want to call it. I found this behind um, uh, Big Lots. This was in Big Lots. This was also in the uh, dumpster. Somebody threw them away. Nothing's wrong with them. Uh, yeah, nothing's wrong with them. This old. And people throw away stuff. So then you find blankets. Or you might have blankets at your house that you used to live in and bring it to the camp. Just all you have to do is wash it twice if you think there's bugs or creatures living in it. And usually uh, Goodwill don't take blankets. I'm not, I'm not, they take clothes, but I don't know about blankets. Yeah, they do. And you can go Goodwill and get cheap ass blankets for 10 cents, a dollar. All right. Part one, camouflage. It's my camp really good camo. There's a few little white boards right there, but I want to get some green paint and spray paint it. Let's see how well it's camoed. When you get by right here, you can see it really good, the blue tarp. So now, this is the part where you say, is the camp, is your, the first thing you want to do when you're homeless is make sure you build your your bed, your home. Where are you going to sleep at? And build it right. And keep playing with it until you get it right. Alright, I got a little cubby hole. I got put my rope, my gloves, uh, my cup. So let's go around. Alright, I got this little thing. I can lower it for rain protection. Like so, but I want it up. It's not, I don't think water's going to get in there, so I'm going to leave it up. All right, let's take a look at my uh, what I uh, done built my home, put my roof up, then I built my um, my uh, my shelter. So I can sit underneath here, my porch. I built my porch. And this is what I did. Like I said before, this is my window. I, I can cook here if I want, but I don't know when I'm going to cook. A couple of things you don't want to do at your camp is bring food inside your tent. You don't want to bring any food or food particles in your tent. I like that. All right. Now I built it out so I can have a roof. If it rains, I can get out my tent. I like to stand up as high as my head. <laughs> then after you finish and you know you complete your your roof and your porch and your house, you build your other stuff. Like your kitchen sink. You gotta wash your dishes. And you gotta build your kitchen sink to wash all your dishes and stuff like that. I'm gonna bring another item out here. I got off a of wish and show you that I'm gonna have running water in a weird way. I just put uh, this item in the bucket and pump it and I'll get me my water. Now I'm thinking about building one or two things. Go ahead and build a big academy right here or over here. 
but the saying goes you want it close to your tent so I might go to these trees and build a big academy a pop-up tent will be awesome right here but can't spend no money I have to use the items I got so no money spent unless you want to send me something pop-up tent or whatever and that is it and I brought a lot of milk crates and that's going to be for my clothes storage I'm gonna put buckets in each container and that'd be for my clothes buckets is the way to go I got a few buckets they're gonna be collecting rainwater off my porch there's another bucket that goes over there and I'm hoping the water will run into it and another spot I need to put a bucket so the water will run into it so I got my home my porch and my kitchen going you want this open so the rain will wash your items for you while we'll have to use a lot of water. Don't forget, you got to still sanitize your plates and stuff before you use it. Because you don't know what's up there, a bird shit or whatever. So you got to still sanitize it before you use your plates. Um, let's see, what else we got? Got some boards that uh, other video showed you. That's where they came from. I mean, you uh, use it for my kitchen zinc it's kind of stable it's not going nowhere and this might rust but oh well that shit this will fall in about 10 years or five years this will collapse and I have to rebuild it but hey I got 10 years to five years of living nice and I'll be still off the ground I do have, I do believe I have a rat that, or my, uh, or a squirrel. He came over here and chewed this up. So I gotta make sure I watch that before I get in here or check my ropes and make sure that this is secured because uh, a rat ate my ropes. So before you get into your home, let's go around and check your ropes and make sure they all bound and not eaten by a rat because the minute I get in that thing, it will collapse. And that's it. Uh, I'm Ranger Kiki. And those are my tables, so I don't have to make a table. And they're going to last for years. I mean, it's not like a, a wooden table that's going to fall apart in about five or six years. And I'm going to get some green paint and paint those white boards because you can see that all the way over there. All right, I'm the Ranger Kiki. And this is the update of the Hobo Paradise. Um. Remember, I'm trying not to buy not one thing so far. I only have to replenish my rope and my zip ties out of my the ropes over here. Zip ties of building this thing. Everything else has been found or gotten from my job, like the milk crates and the bread racks. So having a job, living alone in, a, in the woods with three dogs. Moo Moo Puddles Derg. Poor Dergs. Alright, I'm Rage of Cookie. See y'all later. Look how pretty these woods is. Until I come in here and made a mess. But all my trash goes into a trash can. Before I leave, you know, I got a trash can. And I'm going to put my trash in the trash can. And before it gets too heavy, I will empty it. Da -da. That's not my liquor bottles. I got from this guy. I got all kinds of crap stew in the woods. It's a bottle over there and some trash right there. I have to pick up. But uh, that's it. Come on, Dirk. Get the water. Get that water, Dirk. Get the water, Dirk. Dirk. Water. Get the water. All right, fine. You're not thirsty. How about you, Moo Moo? You thirsty? Get that water. Get that water, girl. I have to bring them to water because they always follow me. So I have to get a water bucket for them over there to the other camp. I might use this as a f uh, somebody comes by and want to camp, they can camp here. I gotta fix this area so we can put a hammock and not this tent. And this would be their shelter porch tarp thing. All right, I'll see y'all next video. This is the maybe the final update on the hobo paradise. And what I can do with all these sticks is just lay them 
and flood it uh, ground areas. You know, just lay it down where you can walk on. Uh, there's a little ditch back here, which I'm happy for. I like a little ditch to get the water out. I might have to scrape, you know, see the, it's called gray leaf. And gray leaf goes to that big ditch. And all that water goes way over here. So this floods. But I got another trail to get to my camp. So I'm good. All right, I'm Rage Kiki, and this is it. The update on the Hobo Paradise. Let's take a look. Well, hello there, I'm Ranger Kookie. Today is day four, but it didn't take me four days to build this camp. I've been bringing a little bit, a little bit at a time, and I sit down and look and plunder what to do next. What do I have in my arsenal of junk to make my life as a homeless person better? So let's go over some stuff I did. Well, in the last few days all right this is for two things but I don't really need it for the other thing but I did this for two reasons I'm like what the hell is all this ranger kooky well if you was in the woods and you had predators and stuff you want to build this thing here but I built this just because I have plenty of time in my hands and also camouflage my camp a little bit more. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to try to go further with it, go out a little bit more just to block that because I see, I can see that from a distance. I can't see this no more because that's all I did is took this green sheet that I got out of the dumpster you've seen in the video to cover that. So right now I see that right there. All right, let's go over some new things I've done. A while back, I found this tent and no tent poles. So what I did, I cut the bottom out a long time ago. But how the hell are you making it work now, Ranger Cookie? Well, I found two different poles, shoved it in, uh, Velcro, Velcro strapped it, put a put a rope going through the the uh, right here and brought it up as high as I can so it'd be off the ground this is my storage depot this is where I keep my storage or if I have to I can come in here or somebody can camp in here it's on the person who wants to sleep here if they want to sleep in this area I can sleep in here if I wanted to all right over here we got to get an ice chest. All homeless people got to have an ice chest to put the food they go to be getting from donations from people who give food away. So I got to have a little ice chest. I got ice from work. So that's plenty. And I just took my kitchen sink. I found some more cups and stuff like that to put here to make it look like a homeless house. <laughs> I put a little debris here in front of this so block some of that bright I got spray paint so I got two buckets of water for my pump shower to all the wash my dishes and over here I was going to put my porch here my bare porch but I noticed it might block the wind going through my tent so I'm going to put it over here this could also be a fire pit later on but i gotta be very careful we gotta bring like five buckets and lace it around this area so if i do make a fire i have five buckets to stand each other because this is pine needles look at all pine needles in this whole area so it will catch on fire so most homeless people don't never open have an open flyer it's very rare but they do have them if you made something to do it I know every time somebody build a fire pit, they have a fire pit. Nothing new here, same thing. I just got more stuff, more free stuff from dumpsters and 
other places. And I got a bucket ready for wa rain water if it ever rains. And try to collect some rain water. And I got one over here to do the same thing. So I got my porch because staying in your tent all day when it's raining that's why i see but you cramp you can't you can't bend you can't you can stand in this thing this i have it high enough you stand in it and it's a big tent now i can tie you know a bunch of ways i could have made this work i could tie rope to this and pull it to that one and made a square box and brought that tent in and made it pop up like this that tarp at the bottom makes it pop up so I could have tied rope to that to that that to that that to there and make a square and made this tent pop up but I don't have the right the right sticks so like I said a velcro it did and I hanged it in a tree and this is my storage depot and also keep a lot of white bright stuff in here instead of out here that's okay except for that side but I'm not worried about that side I'm worried about that side and that's it this is the ho uh, ho hobo paradise three or four tarps on top for extra protection even though those blue tarps are worth crap I try not to spend any money so how much money you spent besides gas uh, like I said so far eight ten dollars if you just total taxes and gas and all that ten dollars on this bill on this camp all this stuff was free 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 except for the rope and these straps all right i'm ranger cookie just to show you that anybody can get or make a camp for the hobo society the hobo and over here i already showed you about that camp that that camp been there for like five ten years and there you go the hobo society <laughs>